Hi, thank you for tuning in. I'm Kat with Calico Cali Designs. I'm really excited today to share with you our new in the hoop embroidery cards for Valentine's Day. These are so special and really easy to make. Let's turn on the machine and I'll show you how it's done. There are six different designs in this collection. Be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end so I can show you a bonus way, a super fun bonus way of how to make these cards. Before we get started, this particular card, Be Mine, does have an applique heart on it. I'm not going to cover how to do applique embroidery in this particular video. If you'd like more instructions on applique embroidery, please visit my YouTube channel, Calico Cali Designs on youtube.com. And I have a video there that goes step by step how to do applique embroidery. For this tutorial, we're going to stitch out the XOXO card. The first thing you're going to do is load the design up in your machine. All these designs fit in a five by seven hoop. So go ahead and hoop a piece of tear away stabilizer. I've hooped my tear away stabilizer in my five by seven hoop. I have my design loaded and ready to go. The first stitch it's going to do is a placement stitch that you know where to put your piece of felt. I'm stitching this out in red. You can use any color that you want. I'm just using red so it's easy to see on the video. You can see the placement stitch is finished. And this is exactly where we're gonna place our piece of felt. So you do need to cut out a piece of felt, five by seven or a tad bit larger. It does need to fit inside the hoop and it needs to cover up all of these stitches just like so. The next one is going to be a tack down stitch that's going to secure this to the stabilizer and I'm going to use white so that it blends in. Whatever color felt you use, you want to match the thread to the felt for this particular stop. Here we go. It may be hard to see but this is stitched down now. Very next step is pink, red, whatever color you want it to be. Next is going to stitch out the XOXO. I'm using a bright pink today just because why not? I think it's fun. I'm going to start this and then just for time purposes, I'm going to let it stitch out and I'll resume the video once it's done. Here we go. Look how fantastic that is. Next up, as you can see on the screen, are the four little hearts, one in each corner. Again, you can use any color you want. I'm gonna go with this lovely deep burgundy. I think it'll be a fun contrast between the bright pink. embroidering our first card. Now we're going to take the hoop out of the machine, remove the card from the hoop, and carry on to the finishing step. Right. Here we have it, our finished embroidered card, and now we're going to move on to the next step. There's just a couple of them until the card will be complete. The first step that we have to do is flip this over and we're going to remove the tear away stabilizer. Whenever you do this, you want to tear away from the stitches and we're just going to worry about it outside the border. The inside stuff is fine. You're not gonna see it because it will be attached to the card and I kind of missed a couple little pieces here. Also, if you have any jump stitches on the front that didn't automatically cut with your machine, you want to go through and cut those now. I've already done that as the side cutter on my machine is not working properly. So I've cut those. Now we have removed that stabilizer outside of the heart border. Again, what's on the inside can stay. 
So now the next step is to trim this up. Now it's up to you how close you wanna cut it. I generally go about a quarter of an inch, but if you want a thicker white border, you could do so. If you want a thinner white border, that's up to you. So we're just gonna go around with our rotary cutter and cut all four edges. Um, do not cut the heart stitches. Now I have trimmed that away. Again, I did about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bigger than that. It doesn't need to be exact. It's just whatever you want it to be. Now we just need to attach it to the card. I'm using a piece of 65 pound cardstock. I'm just gonna fold it in half and crease it. And then we're going to take our card and just use double-sided tape. We wanna make sure to get the corners and the middle of each side so that it doesn't lift off. So my little piece down here in the middle, whoopsie. I find it's easier to work with shorter pieces rather than one long one, but that's up to you. And I already put a piece going across the XOXO. You want, you could do another little piece up here. Now you could also use glue dots. You could glue it. Um, additionally, if you wanted to, I'm just gonna put this on here and press. I'm just kind of eyeing it up, but you could use a ruler to make sure you had it exact. To your card, do whatever works for you. Um, you could also, you could have taken this to your sewing machine and stitched along in the white border to attach it to the card, but I just like to use regular double-sided sticky tape. And now the card is done. It's all ready for you to add your own personalized message. And as promised, here's how to make this one with all the fun glitter sequins, confetti, whatever you want to put on the inside. So the steps are basically the same. You're gonna hoop your tearaway stabilizer, stitch down your placement stitch, put on your five by seven piece of felt, stitch out the tack down stitch. You'll stitch out whichever card you want, whatever the words are, but then you're gonna stop before the heart border, okay? You're gonna remove the hoop from the machine, but keep this hooped, okay? At that point, you'll clip any of the jump stitches if you need to. You'll add your confetti, your glitter, your sequins, whatever you're using in the middle of this. Then you're gonna cover it. See, it's like a little piece of that plasticky vinyl stuff, kind of like you'd put on a tablecloth covering. Cover that, then you'll stitch out your heart border. And then when you trim it, you'll trim away everything all at once. So those steps are coming up next. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of how they will work. Thanks for watching my video. I'm Kat with Calico Kelly Designs. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And visit my website, calicocali.com. I have machine embroidery designs, SVG cuttable files, a blog, tips, tutorials, notions, candles, nail decals, just a whole lot of fun. Till next time, thanks for stopping by.